Hey, Internet, this is Nate. And, uh, yeah, it's been a weird month. Um, I'm gonna adjust my camera really quick. Um, it's been a month of reflection. <laughs> I think, as some of you have noticed, uh, I tried a whole bunch of different stuff this last month. Tried to pivot in a way that I thought would be good for me and for the channel. And truth is, it didn't work out at all. So, uh, I think I mentioned this in my original kind of uh, February preview. But the idea was I was going to jump into Harry Potter, into Atomic Heart, uh, switch back to Twitch, and shift away from a lot of the games that I had been playing into this more um, kind of like the mainstream games, things like that. So I'm going to talk about what I learned. Um, I don't know why my camera is like way off. Uh, what I learned. Um, I don't enjoy streaming those games which is a weird surprise to me. I love playing these types of games. I like, I, it's this weird thing, um, and Elden Ring probably best exemplified it. Um, and even Elden Ring was like on the edge uh, of what I can tolerate on stream. But these games that are super long form, playing through an entire series from beginning to end, um, I struggle to commentate well. And I don't know where that comes from, but I was watching some other people who uh, played similar games, Elden Ring, Harry Potter, and I realized that my style just like doesn't fit. And more importantly, I don't enjoy playing the games while I'm streaming them. So like Harry Potter, I played uh, for like two days and I was unmotivated to play it on stream anymore. Uh, it's funny because the same thing happened to me with Cyberpunk. I did Cyberpunk like, gosh, like right when it came out. And again, I just didn't enjoy streaming it. I liked playing it, I didn't enjoy streaming it. This has been a whole newfound thing for me. And I'm trying to be very self-reflective because over the last few weeks, I haven't been enjoying doing videos nearly as much as I did, even literally just in December and January ahead of when I did this pivot. So self-reflection, self-learning, um, and we're gonna kind of shift back. And I'm gonna try to carve out a very specific identity for a channel. It's not a unique identity. There are other creators that have similar identities. Uh, but I'm going to kind of go all in on this because I think just based off of how things have been over the past three years of streaming, I think this is where I will be the happiest. It may not be the most successful. It may not be like the way to grow the channel the fastest, but I will enjoy myself. And I think um, given how frustrated and how, um, I don't know, I just I really haven't, and it's been weird, I really haven't been enjoying um, streaming the last few weeks, even like Blood on the Clock Tower coming out of an Elden Ring into Blood on the Clock Tower, it felt really weird. So, um, so what are we gonna do? What's the main focus now? Main focus is uh, I want to pivot back to uh, one, looking for new games, trying out new games um, that are relatively small, have very small audiences as kind of a showcase. Now there are a lot of showcase channels and a lot of ones that are bigger than me. But hopefully um, you guys enjoy my takes on brand new games and will enjoy that type of content as it comes out. In parallel, I'm going to try to find a good uh, one or two games that are much more tactical and strategic in nature, um, kind of in the vein of like how Monster Train was for me and how, um, how uh, Vampire Survivors was for me and really try to like dig into a game that's not necessarily like being done by that many people, um, more niche, but has a very strong tactical strategic element behind it. Because I think that's one, it's what I enjoy doing on stream because I can really dive into it, become an expert in the game, talk about doing things that like nobody else is really trying, or at least, you know, trying to do things that are much more complicated, more complex, more expert. Um, and, and then doing more of this kind of exploratory stuff. So, um, as I said, this is all self-reflection. Uh, this video itself is just kind of uh, getting you guys inside of the head of Nate. Understand where I'm coming from. Um, I think this is the I think this is the position for the channel that makes the most sense for me, and it's where I'm going to feel the most comfortable. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I don't know what major game we're going to dive into. Uh, in the meantime, we'll continue to do some Hollow Cure. I'll continue to look for like new games as they come out. 
Um, and if you have any recommendations, feel free to jump into the Discord. Uh, if you're not on the Discord already, you can go into the uh, description of this video and, and go there from there. Um, let me know what kinds of games you think would kind of fit that. Uh, I mean, logical ones for me, Hades 2 is coming out relatively soon. Uh, so we could do something with that. Could go back into some um, kind of older games and dive into them again. So I'm not really sure I'm playing around with that. Uh, what I do know though, is these action RPG, uh, shooter type games. I'm not going to see a lot more of them on the channel. Cause again, I just really didn't enjoy playing them on the channel. I like them just not streaming. And I don't, again, I don't understand why, but, uh, I come away feeling really burned out. So clearly that's something that I need to, uh, to avoid, uh, if I want to continue keeping myself mentally healthy and also the channel. Um, and also I think it in general was a really abrupt shift where not many of the people that were in my audience before really fit into the new audience. And I don't know that like I was effectively capturing my new audience. So I think uh, for the channel health, it also makes sense. But I would say the bigger driver is my mental health. And then with Twitch, I tried Twitch again and I'm back to like complete anxiety about this backlog of Elden Ring videos that I have to migrate to YouTube. It's stressing me out. We're get, we're going back away from Twitch. I can't manage the two channels. Just emotionally, it's too much for me to manage the two channels. We're just gonna go back and do everything on YouTube again. So I know we had like big pivot. Now we're gonna big pivot back. Uh, but uh, appreciate you guys being patient with me as I'm trying to figure out kind of what I want to do and, and what feels right for me on the channel. Um, some other things we're gonna do starting uh, soon. Uh, first off, Lara's channel is doing great. Hers is extremely healthy. Um, she's getting a healthy kind of path of subscribers and viewers. Um, everything there is awesome. She's doing what I should be doing, which is she's found her niche and she's just driving it and she's doing extremely well. And I appreciate all of you guys who are supporting her on her channel. Um, she loves it. She's having a blast. And uh, I'm just really happy for, for how her channel's going. Uh, the third channel, Side Quest, we really haven't been doing a lot with. But I can confirm that starting tonight, uh, we will be doing our first thing on side quests. Uh, we'll be playing um, Gloomhaven with uh, Lara, with her family, um, live on stream. So if you want to check that out, you can check out that channel, Side Quest with Nate and Lara. I think Lara will also be streaming it on her channel as well, uh, but for sure it'll be on side quests. Um, and then I'm going to start doing more playing with the kids again. I miss that. Um, and I think that fits well with side quests. So things that are more like family oriented, that's where that's going to go. So Never Nathaniel will be strictly me playing strategic tactical games as well as kind of uh, showcasing new games and demos and things like that. Mara will do her thing. And then side quests will be where I do stuff with the kids and uh, do like board games. Um, there's also other stuff that Lara and I want to showcase there. Uh, and that's, I think, going to be in a healthier spot. Again, bear with me. I'm in the process of self-discovery as well, uh, but it seems like the best move for me given how things went the last month and how I've been feeling. Um, so again, appreciate those that have stuck with me through what I will consider a slight rocky path in the in the, in the path of streaming. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can get on track and I can start feeling a lot better about it again. Uh, and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching this video log on uh, small time streamer Nate and his journey through streaming. See you later.